Go ahead and try this question on your own first. If you see a question about circles towards the end of a section in the old SAT math and indicating that it's a hard question, most likely it's going to test a concept that we're going to see being deployed in this question. So this is a very important idea to get straight so that if you see a hard question that has circles in it on your real test, you'll know how to solve it. Because once you know the concept, it's not that bad. So let's see. The circle shown above has center O and a radius of length 5. If the area of the shaded region is 20 pi, what is the value of x? Now, at first glance, it seems like what does the area of the shaded region and the radius have to do with this angle of a triangle like connected to the circle? Like This seems completely incongru incongruous in terms of what this has to do with this. But as we're going to see, there is a direct link, because when they give us the radius of the circle, what we can find is the entire area of the circle, including this red wedge that's not been included in the area of the shaded region. So the area of an entire circle is pi r squared. So in this case, it's going to be pi times 5 squared, or 25 pi. So the area of the circle is 25 pi. Well, what does that tell us? Well, that tells us that since the area of the shaded region is 20 pi, the area of this wedge must be 5 pi. Okay, well, what does that tell us? And here is the key insight. If the area of the wedge is 5 pi and the area of the entire circle is 25 pi, we now know what fraction of the circle this wedge represents. Number one in the circumference, so we will know what fraction of the whole circumference this arc represents. We will know what fraction of the area this represents, and that's how we're going to find the fraction of the circle, because we know this is 5 pi out of 25 pi of the whole circle. And importantly for this question, we are going to know what fraction of the central angle this wedge represents. This central angle is this angle right here, which incidentally is the angle of the triangle, and there's the connection. So it is 5 pi out of 25 pi, right? This is the area of the wedge over the total area. This is the fraction of the circle this represents. So the pi's cancel, we're left with one-fifth. So this wedge is one-fifth of the area. It's also one-fifth of the circumference. Notice figure's not drawn to scale. This doesn't look like one-fifth, and that's because, yes, the figure's not drawn to scale. It's meant to look not like it's one-fifth of the circle. But it's one-fifth of the area, it's one-fifth of the circumference, and it's one-fifth of the central angle. So how many degrees are there total in a central angle? There's 360. So we'll take one-fifth of 360, and when we do that, we get 72. So that means this angle is 72 degrees. And now we can find x because these three angles have got to add up to 180. So that makes x 18 degrees, and that's choice A. So this is the important insight. The fraction of the circle you get, and you can get it all kinds of ways by looking at the circumference, looking at the area, looking at the central angle. But when you get that, that fraction of the whole circle, you can find all the other pieces of this. You can find the area of the circle, the circumference of the circle, the area of the wedge, the circumference of the wedge, the central angle of the wedge. All this stuff falls into place, and that lets you find, in this case, the answer uh, for this angle x of the triangle. To learn more about Reason Prep's SAT, SAT subject test, and ACT video courses, go to reasonprep.com enroll, and you can find the link in the description below the video.